Hello there. Hi. And welcome back to the channel. I channel. 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 I'm Shift. <laughs> I'm Electro. And we are... Shift Rod. Yeah. And it is Pride Month, everybody. Celebrations are in order. Yes. <laughs> and we've drawn rainbows all over this character. Yes. Well, lots of rainbows. Like, lots of rainbows. And I'm not kidding about lots of rainbows, because even the background is rainbows. So that's a lot of rainbows. You know and you saying? can count it. I didn't double up any of the colors. I counted literally every six... Mm -hmm. It goes back to the start. Yes. And I had to recount it like 20 <laughs> times because I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and you even then went meticulously on like the ear stretcher and the button and did all of that by hand too with the rainbow. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get my skills up for this one. And I was like, I'm gonna hand draw these and he's gonna be like, oh, I can't change it now. I'm like, yes. You are like that scene from Death Note when he's writing the names in the notebook, but you're there on the, t the tablet with the rainbow cards going. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> so, uh, now that it's been Pride Month, um, we hope everyone's been safe because we know there's a lot of stuff been happening in right now, and it's a bit scary. It's a bit good in some cases, a lot of bad in other cases. So I hope everyone that's watching, you're fine, you're safe. And you know, it's good with the progression, yes, definitely. Hopefully, good. progression, yeah. So, we did hear something about one place where they're abolishing it and they're gonna try a community driven one. That's really interesting to hear. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to see how that turns out, which would be amazing if it works out really well. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, that, that's a positive, I reckon. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, I hope you guys are doing your stuff, you know, everyone's good. We're just we are really worried about a lot of people, so we hope you're all fine. We've been in quarantine for three months now. We haven't left this house, which is kind of like, we're kind of a bit stir crazy. <laughs> yes, because I have a terrible immune system, and if anyone sneezes in my general direction, you're sick. Bye. Yeah, like, ugh, last year you got the flu, and you were like in hospital for a month. Mm -hmm. So we're like, we're not even going to risk it. If anything comes into this house, we put that item in quarantine. Even the shopping, we're like, try and clean it with soap or wipe yeah. plastic down with disinfectant and everything like that. Anything to break the fatty layer of the thing we're drinking. Yeah, so it's been crazy. We've just been like panicking a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's whew, crazy. It's 2020 and first six months, it's already like 10,000 things that could possibly happen have happened. It's whew. I mean, at the start of the year, fires and then floods yeah. and then nobody actually realizes about the floods and like homes washing away. And the crazy thing is the fires and floods feels like it was years ago now. That's yeah. the insane thing about it. That only happened like three months ago or Well, four. if you actually look at it, about 10 years ago there were massive floods here as well. Mm -hmm. And then if you, I think it was a further four years before that, there were massive fires as well. Mm-hmm. In the exact same place. Yeah, like, oh, it's intense. This year is just trying everyone. It's just shit. Yes, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. So, oh, I hope you guys are, you know, going all right. We've just been, uh, I don't know. I've been wanting to draw more because I'm at home a lot now, but I just haven't. You know, I've just been playing games and all the stuff. I'm like, I could draw, but, you know, this is more fun right now. Yeah, I've just been, I'm like, I'll draw, but if it makes me in any way sad, I'm like, no, right now, in this year, I'm finding things that make me happy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find my happy, and if playing games and not actually doing anything constructive, I don't care about all those judgmental bitches being like, mm -hmm. you better do this, you better do that. Oh, you wasted your day. No. It's like, uh, hello, welcome to the future. If I become a pro gamer, I could win $20 million and be happy for the rest of my life. It's like, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I, I wish. Like, I wish. Like, but. but anyways, uh, so about being gay. How was your life, you know, coming out and everything? Shit. Mm. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, same. Exactly. Terrible. I think like, the whole coming out to straight people or coming out in general is a very barbaric shit thing. I know. You don't need people's approval. You don't need to tell people, especially your relatives, about your sex life. And that is essentially what it is. If they are constantly asking you if you've got a boyfriend or girlfriend, tell them none of your fucking business. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. 
brings me back to certain times that, you know, it's terrible. Yeah, like, your parents should not have anything to do with your sex life, and for them to be praying into it is just perverted. Yeah, like I get some parents might be like concerned and looking out for you. My parents weren't like that. They no. didn't they didn't care for me in that way at all. I uh, yeah, I remember when I first came out, uh my parents were like, Oh no, not my child uh kind of thing and like that we could cure you and all that kind of shit. They made like, it about themselves. Yeah, it was and terrible. Honestly, it is kind of our fault for letting them in in that level. You shouldn't give them permission to say no, we don't accept you. Yeah. That shouldn't be a thing of, oh, do you accept me? You don't need their approval. No. As long as you you're You never happy. need their approval. That thing about you make your own family by making friends and by marrying who you want to marry. Um, we can actually marry now, okay? Mm -hmm. You can literally make your own family. Mm -hmm. You don't need people putting restraints on you and telling you how to live your life. Yeah, and I think like a big problem is like in all these movies and shows and stuff, they have that. They have the LGBT character where they tell their parents and they want their parents' approval and it's all about the parents and not themselves. It's like, no, it's about you first, them second. You're there for minimum 16 years, 18 years even. Mm -hmm. And after that, you are living your life to your own devices. You will literally build your own life the way you want it to go. They will have little part in that. If you want your family there every step of the way, if you want them there every single day, good for you. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, it becomes your life after you become an adult because that's what becoming an adult is. It's now your life and what you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. So they have little impact on you for the rest of your life. And that may be with technology the way it is a hundred, maybe 150 years down the track. Mm -hmm. And they what a skid mark on the first part of it. Yeah. And like it's, it's a sad fact for a lot of people. But your thing is, it's like, as soon as you realize that, you know, that they may have brought you into your life, but they, it's like, also, they like, they expect something from you. Like, you should be grateful. I brought you into this world. I'm like, yeah, thank you very much. This world is great. You, you brought me into this. You're giving me nothing. You're just, ugh, it's terrible. I don't want to think about it. It's going to be And happy. the whole brainwashing of literally your parents making it when you turn 17, 18, you have to pay it all back. If you ever get rich, you have to pay their way. They will live in luxury. Every single cent they spent on you, you should be grateful for. You should bend down and bow. Mm. I'm like, oh my God. Mm, yeah. Ah, so the best thing is about being gay is that you can make your own family. You can be straight, you can be bisexual, you can be transgender, you can be Whatever you want. anything and make your own way. Because let's face it, Bad families don't just discriminate against gay people. Hmm. That's good advice. I like that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think so. It sounds good to me. But yeah, so, well, from what I've seen in a lot of places, I grew up in a small town where there is like no LGBT community or anything like that. Basically, every day of my life was threatened, which was great, you know? So I really never actually got to have that support system growing up. It's pretty much a loan for most of it. It wasn't until I was old enough, I saved up all my money from work and stuff and then moved. And then we finally met. And then my life became happy and wonderful and amazing. Aww. <laughs> well, yeah, um, I actually happened to be at the right place at the right time and found you. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> It was magical, it was wonderful, and oh, I'm just so grateful for it now. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what to say about it. Like, we've been together for quite a few years now. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all I can say is, like, commitment takes work, and most people don't want to work at commitment, mm -hmm. and that's why people just give up because it's hard. And yeah, like, I can honestly say, like, there's been days where I've, like, really been, like, super angry with you, and I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. You just annoy me right now. And but then, that's every single relationship. Yeah, you know, it's just, like, now it's, like, we have, we can be, like, upset at each other, flip each other off, and then go to another room, and then do our own thing, come back, and be like, I love you! I'm so sorry! Please forgive me! And then, like, I of course... I missed you! 
<laughs> so it's like you just do stupid things now and like everything's just cool and it's great so yeah. you know if you're having a hard time now just think in like 10 years from now you could be a completely different person completely happy you've met someone you are absolutely in love with and you know it just like ugh, being a teenager fucking sucks mm. it's the simplest thing it doesn't even matter who you are it could be anyone being a teenager is like the worst thing because other people are just cruel because they're insecure about themselves. They just lash out on other people. Most of the time, they have issues of themselves. Yeah. And that's the only reason it. It's like, don't just take everything with a grain of salt. Mm. Now, some people are just purely assholes, and then you can just say you're just an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was always like, it was hard drummed into me, always be polite. So there was just a lot of swearing going on in my head and just be like, oh, you're that kind of person, walks away. Mm kind of thing but there are speaking of which there are places on the internet that you can find that are very supportive and that yeah. you can find your own community yeah, online a, a lot of great places these days you know uh we've got like amino mm. there's probably other apps there's like even probably facebook groups reddit even i, I don't mean know. <laughs> facebook groups if you're 50 yeah i guess but you know everyone's gonna have a place somewhere so guys just make sure you know you're being safe be happy, you know, it's not bad to make it about yourself every so often, just so you can have a good time. And we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell notification button to stay updated. Bye meow. Bye meow.